Hi everyone, this is Natasha and you're watching The Oat Madeleine. We are in my kitchen in Burgundy and it's almost spring. So most people are going out in the forest to pick daffodils, but it's way too cold for me. So I'm spending this lazy Sunday in my kitchen making gingerbread spiced madeleines. Here are the ingredients we will need. Two eggs, whipped, two thirds of a cup of sugar, one pinch of salt, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one teaspoon of baking powder, one cup plus one tablespoon of all-purpose flour, sifted, one teaspoon of ground ginger, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one fourth a teaspoon of ground cloves, one fourth a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and finally, one stick plus one tablespoon of butter, which equals to nine tablespoons of butter. Next, we're gonna melt the butter on low heat in a small pot until it becomes brown. And don't forget to keep an eye on it so it doesn't burn. Once brown, the butter will be thicker and we're gonna set it aside to let it cool a little bit. Then we are going to place the eggs, sugar, salt, and vanilla and whisk until the mixture is pale for about five minutes. In another bowl, whisk together the flour, baking powder, and all four spices. Sifting your flour makes a huge difference as it evenly disperses the ingredient, which leads to a consistent texture and a lighter cake. Now we're going to gently fold in the mixture into the batter and mix well. Then drizzle the brown butter and continue mixing, but do not overmix. Cover the bowl with saran wrap and place it in the fridge for 30 minutes to an hour to let the batter thicken a bit. Preheat the oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit or 220 degrees Celsius. Now we're going to butter the madeleine molds. Use a tablespoon to fill each mold 3 fourths of the way with batter. No need to spread, the madeleine will do that on its own while cooking. Bake for four minutes at this temperature, and then we are going to reduce the temperature to 395 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius for another eight minutes. Wow, look how golden they look. Beautiful. So now we are going to remove them from their molds, and we're going to let them sit and cool for about 10 minutes. Enjoy for breakfast, tea, or coffee.